just a quick video modelling the steps for today's learning intention but using a 360 degree protractor. So if you don't have a 360 degree protractor, follow the steps in your work pack. You can also refer back to some of the previous videos on the website as well just for how to use those protractors accurately. But if you do have a 360 degree protractor, you start by drawing your angle as you did for acute and obtuse. You plot your first angle dot and then extend uh, and draw that baseline a, a reasonable length. So not too long, not too short. You know what a reasonable length is. You've done quite a few of these now. Then you're going to place your protractor onto the baseline, making sure that the angle dot is matched up with the dot in the middle of the protractor. Now you're going to imagine your angle opening up from zero, which is circled in red and beyond. So as you can see here, the green arrows show that this goes all the way beyond 180. Then you are looking for the value that you are trying to draw an angle for. So in this case, it's 230 degrees. Um, it's on the inside of this protractor here, you can see. And when you found that, you draw your angle dot in line with that measurement there. Once you've drawn your angle dot, you can then remove the protractor, get your ruler, draw it up, and you've got your angle of 230 degrees there. 